Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. I've recently been experimenting with painting watercolor paints on drawing paper. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I plan to make gift bags with these papers. And I find that the lighter weight of the drawing paper is easier to fold and work with than it would be if I used a heavier watercolor paper. I'm also using inexpensive um, student grade watercolor paints because a gift bag isn't something that people generally keep for a long time. So I'm just making a fairly inexpensive project with this. I am starting out um, by having parchment paper beneath because then I can wipe up any excess paint or water. And I have my drawing paper dampened. I ran it under the tap for just a few seconds. And that does help keep the paper flat when I'm working on it. And it also helps the paint flow for <clears throat> flow when the paper is damp for a little while. My first design, um, I'm going to crumple up my drawing paper and then when I open it up I am going to have lots of little creases and it makes an interesting design when I paint over it. <clears throat> I'm starting with a blue and I'm just going to paint all the way down my paper and you can already see that there are some interesting textures going on. Um, the creases pick up more of the pigment so um, it's quite interesting and I'm, I'm happy with that so that's very quick. Now I'm going to set that down to dry and wipe my parchment paper off and I do reuse this parchment paper for a number of projects so again it's um, fairly inexpensive. My next one I'm just going to do some paint doodles. I'm going to use some of my darker blue and just make some squiggles all across the paper and this is a fun relaxing little exercise to do. So um, use your imagination and have fun with it. I'm going to add a little bit of violet now. I'm going to do some circles. The blue and the violet are a nice combination and if I mix them together I will get some interesting variation in color. I think maybe some straight lines now going across the two colors and you can see the paint blending a little bit and some straight lines in the other direction and just pretty easy and quick. Okay, that one can be set aside to dry. On my next paper, I am going to use some stamps. And I like to use stamps um, from, that I've made from scrap items from around my house. May as well recycle them and make the most of um, throwaway items. I have a paper cup that I've cut and I'm just going to put some paint on the bottom and start stamping and you can put them on top of each other it adds a little more interest and the paint goes quite a ways then I'm going to paint the other edge and again stamp some more circles 
and with a different size, you again add more variety. Okay, and um, I am going to, let's see, I have a little stamp that I've made from a piece of cardboard and I punched some holes in it. So very quick and easy to make. I'm going to add um, some blue and just paint over. So now this will give us another scale of circle and just press it down here and there. I don't always press down the whole stamp because I think it adds more interest sometimes if it's just part of a stamp. And again, use up all that paint. Now I'm going to do something just a little different. I'm going to set my stamp down and just paint a few of those circles in. And you might not get a circle, <laughs> you might get something else, and if it doesn't um, happen the way you quite intended, that's okay, because um, accidental little features can be fun and interesting too. Okay, and you can add as much or as little as you want, and I'm going to leave it at that for that one. It can dry. And my next one, I am go I have a different stamp. That one had circles. This one is going to be squares and lines. Um, this is just a piece of protective paper from inside a chocolate box. I'm going to paint green on the ridges. I've got a lighter color paint and a darker color. So that in itself adds interest. My paint is just a little dry. Spritz it a little bit. A little bit more of the lighter color. Okay. Now again, I'm just going to paint, or I'm just going to press on part of it, and then I'm going to turn it in a different direction so we get a little bit of crisscrossing going on. It's almost like a lattice work, and it's a very light springtime spring time design. So I really like that and you can press it down a number of times to get as much of your paint off as possible. Then I have a piece of plastic that I cut out of the basket from uh, inside of a feta cheese container. It's a little basket that you lift up and um, drain the feta cheese off. So I'm going to use it just like my previous page stamp and paint on it and press it down in a few different spots so a different size a different scale adds interest and different colors the darker and the lighter got a little bit more of the darker so let's add that And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to get some little um, shapes. It might not be squares. It might end up being more like circles. We'll see. Oh yeah, kind of square, kind of circle. But that's okay. And we'll just add that in a few places. Just variation in color and shapes. It gives an interesting design. Okay, and one more thought. 
if you have a paper that seems too white, what you can do is, um, where is my paper? Okay, this is one that I've dried, I've done before, but maybe I don't want quite that much white. I'm just going to dip my brush into clear water and then paint across and you will still see the original design but you'll get a little more color in the background. And then you can set that one aside to dry. So that's it for this video. Um, my next video will show you how I make these papers into bags. And I have a few to show you here. That's one of them. And you can see the variation in colors and designs. And I will show you how to put the handles on and also add some decorative features. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell to the side so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. I plan to have lots more spring and summer projects coming up. So thank you for watching and please join me again soon. Bye-bye.